You're on a path in, in the, the woods. Wood. Jetzt muss ich mal gucken, was steht mir denn jetzt noch? Uh, strange beginnings, we get stranger endings. Das habe ich, also das kriege ich ja hoffentlich danach. Uh, you're on a path in the woods. Da muss ich mal gucken. Ich weiß nicht, ich weiß halt nicht, wie, wie ich das krieg. Don, äh, ah ja, das, da muss ich einfach nur gucken, dass, dass, das kriege ich auch am Ende. Da muss ich immer allen sagen, dass sie ähm, sterben werden. We get strange endings. Also wenn ich das nicht schaffe, dann mache ich das einfach auf Screen. Das, I didn't hear no bell, dann mache ich das einfach. Okay, also. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. You make your way up. Let's see to the cabin. Uh, should we take the blade? Enter the basement. Good. You're still listening to reason. You step forward. Uh, what was that? I think I must. I drop the blade. Um. Okay, we talked enough. Um. Wait, I made my choice. I'm. Uh. Under the chair. <sighs> You steal your This is for the adversary harm. Proceed to the cabin. Into the basement. No knife this time. Right then, fisty cuffs it is. Probably more fair to her anyway. Wouldn't want to feel like we cheated our way to a win. As long as you can still get the job done. And don't forget that the blade is waiting for you upstairs if you happen to change your mind. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a rough stone staircase, its walls pressing at your sides and tightening as you descend. The air seeping from below is heavy and oppressive, with an almost sulfuric odor to it. Her fierce voice carries up the stairs. Oh. But no little knife this time, huh? No. And I hope you're not just here to chat. I've been itching for a rematch. Oh, you work a bit anders, no? Uh, the blade upstairs. I go, go upstairs and reach the blade. Click on arm. I guess we'll have to see how this goes. Your hands empty. You charge the quick for pessimism, will you? Right? It's almost like you don't want us to beat her. No, look, I'm rooting for you. I really am. I'm just doing my best to keep my expectations grounded. You don't have a weapon. You're supposed to have a weapon. Ach was. We'll be fine. Just watch. You attack, fists raised, and the two of you fall into combat. Your clawed fingers tear into her flesh, and her fists and elbows return the blows in kind, bruises blossoming in her wake, and blood vessels rupturing in vivid sprays of gore. Not bad. You're tougher than I thought you'd be. Hear that? She respects us. We can pull this off. Hope it's doch. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. But without that knife, you'll never be enough. Her knee connects with your sternum with a loud, violent crack. The wind leaves your lungs, and as you struggle for breath, you can feel something flooding in to fill the space. Hot blood, suffocating you from the inside. You have to want to kill me. Like this. You don't so much as see her movement before she deals the killing blow. Everything goes dark, and you die. Uh, are you serious? That's it. That's it. No, we get That's up. It. Like hell it is. We're not giving up that easy. Now get up. Didn't you hear me? You're dead. There's no getting up from that. Get up. Wait, no, that's not right. You're, <laughs> You're not dead anymore. Yes. Your eyes bolt open and you push yourself back to your feet. You're <laughs> alive. The princess takes a step back and looks down at her pulp-covered fists. I could have sworn I killed you. 
that's your face splattered on the walls and dripping from my hands. Wait, no, my face? You're joking, right? You're... That's your face. I got my own pristine blade now. The two of you clash once more. It's not as one-sided as I feared, but it's still a far cry from what I'd hoped. Her injuries, though numerous, pale in comparison to yours, and the wounds you've inflicted upon her barely seem to have slowed her down. As much as you're trying to ignore it, adrenaline pushing you far past your limits, every movement burns. This is getting boring. Are you even trying to keep up with me? She lands another devastating... No. Lethal blow. Everything goes dark. Again. And you die. Again. But you know what I'm going to say. That we're not dead? Yeah. We're not dead. Come on, get up. If we can just keep going, we're bound to wear her down eventually. Are you sure she can't do what we're doing right now? There's only one way to find out. Once more, you push yourself back to your mangled feet. How, how are you still moving? How are you still doing anything? Bodies aren't supposed to look like that. An uncharacteristic terror seems to grip her voice. Hmm. Oh. Have we ever seen her afraid before? No. We haven't. This is how we win. We can do this forever. I'm going to put you out of your misery. I don't like looking at you like this. You're all twitching and wrong. I'd like to see her try. We're invincible. <laughs> her fist flies towards where your face used to be, your twisted body incapable of moving out of the way. Everything goes dark and we die. <laughs> yes, something like that. <sighs> well, don't you have something to say? Yeah, I quit. Oh. <laughs> the fury. The four and I'm not going to the distance. In the woods. And at the end of that... Alright, change of plans. We're taking the blade. Now why would we ever do that? Because she absolutely destroyed us? She sure did. But what a great way to go. Does it matter? We lost. Oh, why so glum rage? Boy, I thought you were brave. Thought you were proud. Was all that bravado just hot air? Look, it was just... The fight was better the first time. The first time we had a weapon. Well, this is just great. <sighs> Let me cut to the chase. Yeah, you think? What does here even mean, though? You've told us about the path of the princess and all of that already, but this is a very different path than the last one. That's a good point. Everything here is a little oh. off. Yes, precisely. And if you'd given me two seconds to finish my thought, I would have said that. Oh, you're actually letting me talk now. Great. If you've already been here, it means you've seen things you aren't supposed to have seen, and you know things that you aren't supposed to know. This doesn't look like a path in the woods, if reality seems distorted. It's because reality is distorted. So you knew this could happen. You knew we'd be able to restart like this. <sighs> look, if the world around you is changing, especially all the way out here, then that means you're nearing the point of no return. Whatever happens next, that's it. There won't be any more do-overs. So you'd better take things seriously. Okay. Begin. It's good. It isn't long before you find yourself at the end of the path. Not to yourself. We all wind up in a creative rut. Now and then, I'm sure, if you put your mind to it, you could think of something worth telling us. The interior of the but that is how it was. That's horrible. The only furniture blade is your imp we'll need it. Let's not make the The blade is your implement. Take the blade. You take the blade from the pedestal. Good. Nothing feels better than gripping cold steel. That's no fun. And you're not even holding it right. Oh. And how do you suggest we hold it? The other way. The basement. You step forward. All we see is a spit. Grimy? 
Why did Watt clean the, the mirror? What are you talking about? You're standing in front of a door. But it has to be real. It's right. That does it matter if it's actually... Let's just smash it. We won't be able to do whatever you smash want. Smash it. You bring your fist crashing down against the door leading to the basement. As if on command, it slowly slides open, scraping against the stone floor, yep. its ancient hinges moaning as it reveals the dim path ahead. Why am I not surprised? You step forward into the darkness. The stairs leading down to the basement are at once both narrow and grandiose. The high vaulted ceiling stretches up into a gloom beyond your sight, while walls wet with tumorous growths press in uncomfortably at your sides. You feel both unprotected and trapped, at once exposed and claustrophobic. The air is thick, its odor an oppressive violence. The metallic scent of fresh blood twisting with the nauseating embers of charred remains. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her okay. voice. So you've returned. I think that. Did you hear that? Come. Um, we spring of Gunther. That's right. No fear. She's bigger no than the last time, but she's pulling herself apart. L she's practically done most of the work for us. Your heart free of fear. You charge towards the princess. Your eyes locked on it. It's now or never. With a horrifying squelch, you are unwound. I hope you weren't planning on dying. We're going to make this last forever. How long? I feel. True to her word, you do not die by her hand. She's gone. Or that. you will never. Of course you're scared. This is the end for you. What is that supposed to mean? Whatever awful thing I felt before, if it... Screw that! This can't be the... He's just messing with us. You withered. 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 I have no idea how it's spricht, ne? Withered. I am a growing chorus of contradiction. All of me is changing. Ah, uh, no, no. What do you think of this vessel? This one is desecration. She placed the weight of her agony on you. Yet it is she who unwound herself. But there is passion and empathy in her misery. She will make for a burning heart. Do not mourn her. She has finally found peace. Ja gut. Dann wirf mich wieder durch den Spiegel und dann gehen wir weiter. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again.